A standoff is brewing on the seas of the Mediterranean between international activists on boats from Gaza and the Israeli Navy. The boats are sailing to greet a Turkish flotilla packed with 10,000 tons of aid. But it's a perilous trip as Israeli warships enforce a strict blockade on the Strip, sometimes with violence. But those on the Palestinian vessels are determined to meet the Turkish-led convoy. Say that this is a groundbreaking effort at human solidarity, that they're bringing in several hundred people on huge cargo ships, and they're challenging the illegal and immoral blockade, and that this is amazing, that all the, gov all the governments of the world may be against them, but all the people of the world support their efforts so strongly. Both groups of ships have presented Israel with a no-win scenario. If they fail to do anything, they are seen as weak, act and risk being seen as brutish. In a possible attempt to avoid any embarrassment, Israel has offered to deliver the aid. Unfortunately, these people have rejected our proposal to transfer the humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip. They have exposed themselves. Their real agenda is not to help the people of Gaza. They want to support the authoritarian Hamas regime that on a daily basis violates the human rights of the people of the Gaza Strip. Israel insists none of the boats will reach their goal, but if successful, it would be the first breach of the Israeli blockade on the Gaza Strip since it began in 2007. Ian Lee, Reuters.